everybody. This video wasn't planned, but uh, I forgot that the news would be releasing tonight about the future of the number nine car. So it is expected that Chase Elliott will miss six weeks, six races. Um, I believe from now to what, Talladega? Around there, maybe? Um, maybe we'll get to race at Talladega. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure if I did the math right there. Um, I used to have the schedule memorized. Now it changes so much year to year that I really don't. But we know he will miss um, at least six weeks. That's what we've been told. They didn't have an update Saturday. They do today. And Josh Berry will fill in on the ovals. So he'll probably run five races. The one race he won't be in the car will be Coda, the road course, because Enza star Jordan Taylor, a guy who's won Le Mans, a guy who's won the Rolex 24 at Daytona, just from what I'm told. I'm not very familiar with the guy. I saw some people clamoring for him to be in the car, not just Dakota, but for the whole thing. I had to look him up, Google, and see who he was. Um, not surprised. It's kind of vanilla. You know, I was maybe hoping that they might go get a splash guy, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Corey LaJoy, but you know, it makes sense. It makes sense. Josh Berry, he's over 30, I think, or maybe right at 30. Um, but Dale Jr., if he goes cup racing or if a spot opens up at Hendrick, um, you know, who knows um, with what Josh Berry can do. Um, he's only won three races in the next gen car, two of them last year, and then finished 29th at Vegas. Did all right under the circumstances. Um, I think he'll do fine. I don't think we should expect a ton out of him. You know, maybe if he gets a top 10, top 15, just one of those, that'd be great. But he's still learning. Um, still learning the car. He's also having, you know, he, he will have some extra help with the Xfinity races, but it's not the next gen car. We'll have more track time with some of the drivers. Um, but, you know, it also, you know, what, Sorry about that, that's on my teeth. But you know what, when you're racing guys like um, Kyle Busch who's in the Xfinity race this weekend, having cup guys dip down to the lower levels will help him. Um, not just getting better in the Xfinity series, but learning what they do in the cup series. So if I'm Josh Berry, I'm keeping an eye on Kyle Busch on Saturday at Phoenix to see what he does Sunday if he's racing around him to see what he does. Um, but not surprised, it's kind of a vanilla pick, but it's a solid pick. He'll be there every week. And, Get some chemistry with the team that he's already got a little bit of this weekend. Jordan Taylor coming in for Dakota, I'm fine with that. I think he'll do perfectly fine. I would be shocked to see a top 15, top 10 run, but if that happens, hey, more power to him. Um, again, not not shocked with with either pick. Um, Taylor is obviously the more surprising one, but you know, Barry gets more seat time in the next gen car for his you know future exploits and and. You know, I know Napa's probably not very happy about the whole situation. Their star guy is sat on the couch right now and not racing, but Chase started physical therapy yesterday. You know, he's going to do whatever it takes to get back in that car as soon as he can. When being medically cleared, I assume NASCAR is going to give him a waiver. We already had a whole um, podcast episode about this last night, so that's on YouTube and all major podcast platforms, so go check that out below the other line. Um, but... Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he got a waiver and still made the playoffs. Um, sounds like he'll have around 14, 15, 16 weeks to go do that, go win a race or point his way in. And yeah, with how strong Hendrick's been to start the year, how strong Chevy's been. Chevy has won, you know, the first three points races. Um, you know, they didn't win either duel. Um, they didn't um, win the clash. But still, that's still three out of six races and all three points races so far. We'll see if they can continue that domination at Phoenix, but Chevy, especially you know, Hendrick, Trackhouse, they're looking really good. So Elliott's going to have a lot, you know, a lot to look forward to um, when he comes back. We'll see how rusty he is. That is interesting. You know, I know he's a superstar, but still, when you come back after an injury, um, you know, that you're you're not yourself. You, know, you got to get back into the flow of things, get chemistry back with your team, with your boys. Um, and yeah, as for Jordan Taylor, I think he'll do just fine. You know, that might mess up the chemistry a little bit, because um, that race is on March 26th, the Coda, but you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I think he'll do fine. As for the other new story, it broke tonight. Uh, Carson Osvar is going to run six races for Spire. So Spire is dipping their feet into all three series. There will be the 77 car. The first race is at Dover. They'll be running six races. He put out a very uh, cryptic, crypt, cryptic tweet tonight, or not tonight, uh, you know, um, mid-morning, afternoon-ish, and just said the number seven. That's all it said. Um, some people thought it might be in a reference to him filling in for Corey LaJoy, and they thought that meant Corey LaJoy go drive the nine car. Well, no. 
but he did have an announcement at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, and it did involve the number 7. The 77 car will be piloted by him in the Xfinity Series, so Spire is running both Truck, Xfinity, or not both. Um, all three series, all three top series are running Truck, Xfinity, and Cup. The senior two Cup, uh, two cup cars full-time, and now an Xfinity drive for six races with Carson Hosevar. Uh, technical lines with JRM, I, it's, it's his first start, so I think top 20s, top 15s would be great. If he could sneak a top 10 or a top 5, that'd be great. The first race is Dover, and he will be headed up. He will be crew chiefed by Bono, Kevin Bono Mannion. Uh, he is a guy who is the head of their truck program. He's not necessarily decorated, but he's very experienced. He's been around the NASCAR circle, certainly as long as I've been a fan, if not longer. He's been a constant figure in the garage area in the top three seasons of NASCAR. And for a guy like Kosovar, who's young and like 19, 20 years old, hey, he's made some mistakes. He intentionally brought out a caution at Talladega last fall, in Vegas in the fall of 2021. He right hooked Colby Howard at IRP um, last summer, so he's made some mistakes. He's also shown classes of brilliance. He's still yet to win a truck race. Um, he needs too soon, but off to a solid start this year. Showed a lot of grit last year. Won a pole at Sonoma with a broken ankle. Um, 12th at Daytona, 7th at Vegas to start the year. Very solid, very consistent start to the season. The first two races, their third race of the year is at Atlanta next week. Um, for the truck series, we'll see if he can grab his first win there. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if they put him in any super speedways or give him a chance to win or if they want him to work. Uh, it, it did say six ovals, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm still thinking Josh Perry and Jordan Taylor stuff, but, um, you know, it'll be, I would, if I'm them, I put them on a couple of intermediates. You know, you go to Dover, a short track, you go to a true short track, you go to a road course, you go to a super speedway. That's what I hit. Maybe you take them to Darlington or Michigan, you know, a, a long intermediate, a shorter intermediate in, um, in Darlington, but yeah, you go, you know, maybe you could go to Dover, you could, maybe you could go Bristol, you know, go to a, go to a true short track, maybe you could go to Watkins Glen, go to a road course, Road America, go to a road course, something like that, I think that'd be really good for him, just to get experience on all types of tracks in a Tony car, he's got plenty of time, I think JRM would be very happy to snatch him up, he's a Chevy driver, but let's have to wait and see, so that's all the news tonight, it's all regarding Chevy teams, regarding, you know, just so, yeah. Chase Elliott out for six weeks. That's what we know right now. Josh Berry will fill in the five ovals and uh, any other ovals. And Jordan Taylor will fill in at Coda and any other road courses. And Carson O'Sullivan runs six races for Spire in the Xfinity Series. So that's all I have. Go listen to the Below the Yellow Line podcast on all major podcast platforms and right here on YouTube. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Trying to get to 200,000 views by the end of the NASCAR season. We're 33,000, but less than that away. Trying to get to 400 subscribers by American Independence Day on July 4th of this year. We're at 353, so 47 more to go. Click that subscribe button. Leave a comment and also share the video in the channel with your friends, family, or anyone you know who likes NASCAR. And share the Below the Yellow Line podcast, too. Follow, rate it, uh, listen to it, watch it here. Uh, do all that stuff. So I'm Sam with Subs from the Spotter Shane YouTube page. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Peace out. Bye. And subscribe.